There's a lot of freedom in the curriculum for electrical engineering, so students can really pick if they want to take classes in more digital circuits, analog circuits, or things like device physics. So I think with that, I had a choice what kind of route I wanted to take in electrical engineering. And the way I navigated this was mainly by taking classes in different areas and talking to different professors and students that might have taken these classes to find out what I'm really interested in. And for me, that ended up being taking a lot of classes in analog circuits, which really got me to where I am now. My name is Blanca Hernandez Uribe. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I study electrical engineering, and I'm getting my bachelor's and master's in the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. I've always been interested in education and being able to teach other students. And especially with electrical engineering, the department is so small that for several of the classes in the undergraduate curriculum, there are student TAs, so older students can be teaching assistants um, in these classes. And I really liked the opportunities that it provided because it was sort of a win-win in that it was a job for a student to hold on campus, but it also provided me with an opportunity to help instruct these students and also sort of have that mentorship role on campus. And so I think that that really allowed me to also sort of grow as a student and make sure that the skills that I really learned from my classes, I could also apply as sort of an instructor. One of the reasons that I wanted to come to Penn is because of its location in Philadelphia and its access to the community. And so when I got to Penn, I knew immediately that I wanted to get involved through the community. And one thing that really helped with this was the Netter Center, which is the Center for Community Partnerships on Penn's campus. And through the Netter Center, I was able to find Moelis Access Science, which is a program that has many different branches that seek to go into local schools in the area and supplement the curriculum in different ways and in different areas. So for example, I joined the science fair team and this was because I was involved with science fairs in high school myself. And we would go into the school sometimes after school and in sometimes during the day and would work with the students in different ways and show them scientific exploration and experimentation and would just try and work with the teachers and supplement the curriculum in this way. So this year I'm working on a senior design project and a senior design project is a capstone project at the end or during all of senior year at Penn and it's sort of a culmination of applying everything that you've learned from different classes into one project or area of study that you're really interested in. And so it provides a really great opportunity to apply these skills and things that you've learned in different classes. So for me in particular, I've taken a lot of classes in electrical engineering and analog circuits, which is something I'm really interested in. And one common application for that is radar. So our project is to develop a radar for biosignature detection. And what that means is we want to be able to develop this radar system that can measure someone's breathing rate. Measuring breathing rate has a lot of different applications. And one example of this is for sleep apnea. But the way that they currently do this is by putting sensors all over them and hooking these sensors up so that they can be monitored. So a patient will be completely wired up and then be told, sleep normally so that we can monitor your sleep. So as you can tell, this could be pretty disruptive to someone. And so what we wanna do is come up with a way that we can measure this breathing rate, but that's completely non-contact. So nothing is touching the patient and we can just monitor them completely separate of this. And the way that we can do this is with a radar system that can be mounted either above or to the side of someone several feet or even meters away and accurately measure their breathing rate. So that's what we hope to accomplish for our senior design project. I think that being in Philly has been an amazing experience because I really think that you can sort of get the full experience of being a college student here. So one thing that I have really enjoyed is being involved in the community through different programs. And it's really a short walk away if you wanna get involved with the community just by volunteering or working with different organizations. You can just walk 10 blocks west and feel like you're really involved in that community. I think that one thing that was really helpful, especially at the engineering school, was sort of the openness to change paths. So at first, when I came to Penn, I thought that you really had to have an idea of what you wanted to do, what your major would be, 
and sort of be sold on how your college experience would be within the first year. But one thing that I found was that I actually changed my path and was able to change my majors and sort of decided what I didn't like in order to find what I really loved and to get me where I am now. So I think that in coming in as a chemical engineer and then switching to a computer engineer and then finally switching to an electrical engineer is what really helped define what my interests were and sort of my path from here on out.